and be staying alone. It's better is it that you are staying with your family or you are staying with a friend. That kind of thing. Now you make me I come that, get that belief because you believe say any girl where they stay alone, you go they follow man up and down. Now you make me come to say okay, instead make her they stay alone, make her come they stay with my friends. Now you make me come they stay with this my friend. Now she push me to this kind of relationship we are no plan for. Yes. Now she pushed me. She was the one that pushed me to this kind of relationship, this kind of marriage. What I no plan for. Because anytime I, I look at my life, I go say, why am I in this kind of condition? What's up, guys? Is a girl Nene baby. So, guys, today I have this lady here with me. She has something she wants to narrate to my audience. She has this her life experience that she wants to share with my audience. She needs advice, please, guys. Let's listen to her and also advise her. Okay. Please don't mention your name. Just go straight and narrate your story. Um, I beg. I don't come here. Now, because say I hear about waiting you they do for online. Now, you make me come say, I know if you just keep quiet like this for my own matter. And what you can't even make me, where push me, say, in fact, I know if you do this kind of thing again, I cannot tolerate this, I cannot stay in this kind of cage again for my life. Now, because of what happened yesterday, now, I don't sleep at all. I don't sleep. Right from day one, when I enter this marriage, I don't enjoy, I never enjoy anything called marriage for my life. I never enjoy anything called marriage. I don't know whether I go talk, say, whether because I did. I know they desperate. God knows, say, I know they desperate when I never marry. I know they desperate. Now, because, say, and how I take me to this man. Now, because of one of my friends that I was staying with that period, I was a teacher. At least if you see me, you go not say I day very I'm very intelligent. You understand? So but I can't they stay with this my friend. Due to because of waiting my mother, they always tell us that time, say, May we not go rent house or as a single girl low, we should not rent house and be staying alone. It's better is it that you are staying with your family or you are staying with a friend. That kind of thing. Now you make me I come that, get that belief because you believe say any girl where they stay alone, you go they follow man up and down. Now you make me come to say okay, instead make her they stay alone, make her come they stay with my friends. Now you make me come they stay with this my friend. Where we say now my very good friend, because I go reason why they mention her for this my story because say now she push me to this kind of relationship we are no plan for. Yes, now she push me. She was the one that pushed me to this kind of relationship this kind of marriage we are not plan for because anytime I, I look at my life i go say why am i in this kind of condition okay when are they stay with this girl should we they stay with her brother the place not be say you know they're conducive enough for all of us and everything which they say make i not do now i know they do and they abide to her rules and regulation my very good friend something says i won't do them i go they fear say me she no go talk so, but I shall date them house, they stay with them. So, when she can't happen one day, she can't come back from work. She said, ah, you get one uh, guy, when see my picture for her phone, for her WhatsApp. And the guy can't pick interest for me, for that picture. Now, it, the guy can't talk, say, okay, say, make the guy introduce me to her. Now, when she can't happen, the guy, the girl, that my friend can't introduce me to this guy. When I met this guy, my spirit did not really accept him in the first place. Please, I want you to understand this. When I saw him, the day we met, my spirit did not really go for him. My spirit did not really accept him. Immediately, I told my friend, I said, I don't really like this guy, you. But I don't can't know. You understand? Mm. Later, later, me with them, we shall they talk, they do everything. So weeks after we met, this my friend can't they misbehave. She can't change towards me to the extent of telling me to make her leave her house. Uh -uh. What thing can happen? Me and you don't date together for long now. Why you can't they tell me to make her leave your house? What thing I do you? This guy don't get any reason. Before you know it, after some days, 
You get one day I come back from work because I did do teaching work for one private school and they're paying me good money. That's where I stand and I they do other things. Join them. I don't depend on any man. So I I can't come back from work that very day. I go to the brother shop, make I collect key and house. This her, my friend brother talk say her sister say me she no give me make him no give me key. What thing I do? I did outside see two of them come back from work that day. You can't reach night. This my friend pack my things, carry my load, throw away and for outside. Okay, me and this guy where she introduced me to, we they talk. No beside I really get any feelings for them. You understand? Mm. I see they watch whether me with a fit get anything together. Okay, I can't I say I get no I don't I don't get any choice that to tell this guy what thing they happen. Whether he go help me follow this my friend talk. Make sure know they do like this. But everything why they talk, for why they follow this guy talk. He, he never asked call this my friend to ask and say what happen. Why they do like this to this girl? Don't we'll be friends. Okay, he no do that one. I can't tell and say, okay, instead of me to the face of this kind of shameful thing, because everybody for compound, they look, say, what's happen? Say, whether me, I never reach to get my own house. Now I make me come go look for another place. Make I carry my things go. But that place, when I get, then tell me, say, my, though I don't get enough money that period, but my money was remaining 20,000. I can't meet this guy as a friend, say, I beg, borrow me 20,000. I go return it to you, ending of that month. And they talk these things from the beginning because I want people to tell me where my faults come from. You understand? So I can't tell and say I beg. Make you borrow me that 20,000 as a friend, but I go return. Not be saying I give. Not be saying I dash. I just want to borrow. I go return and back to you. For me to secure this house, make I stay on my own. Okay, as I ask them, the reply where this guy give me be say, he no get money to give me. I say, uh-uh. Okay, can you help me borrow from one pet yeah, from somebody? Maybe person when they close to you. I go return them. This guy no grill. But if I tell you, say, after some after some years, when me with and don't marry, this guy later tell me, say, he didn't get that money, but he no one give me. You can imagine. But I just overlooked that one. I said, okay, we can't say the waiting how infite help me. Be say, make I pack my things, can't they live with them? Okay, so he said he cannot borrow you 20000 yes, to money. complete to, the money you exactly. have. Exactly. So you can secure that apartment. Exactly, because my my plan was that if I secure the apartment, at least I go stay there for some time. For me today, you know, study this guy, make I know him very well. Okay. If I won't get anything to do with Tago, don't know, say this is the kind of person where he be. Okay. You get whether I feel wrong with this kind of person, whether I feel going to relationship with this kind of person, at least I go deal on my own to know the kind of person where he be. But I think I so I don't feel secure that uh, apartment okay. of which the landlord tell me say he no feel live in house except the money complete. I lose that I lose that uh, house. I get no choice. When this guy done they frustrate me too much. I pack my things. I get. No, I had no choice than to pack my things to go and be staying with this guy. And that is what he told you. Well, that was what he told me. That that is the condition he gave me. That is what he said. He that, can't give you twenty thousand, right? He said he can. But you should come and stay with him. That I should come and be staying with him. I said, but you came. That you want. You said you like me. You want to marry me. You are looking for who you are going to marry. Or even if you are going to marry, at least we need to know each other. You understand? That was my plan for me to stay in that house to know the kind of person he is. And besides, in fact, I would say I really made a mistake because of where he came from. Okay, that one aside, because I will still come back to that. Okay, when I now I looked left and right, I did not see, I, I did not know what to do. Then to pack my things, then I went to live with him. Even with the day I packed my things, I told myself, maybe if you can. Come and help me to pack those things. But this guy said he did not have chance. I try everything. I, ju I just packed my things. I left some few things, thinking that I would come back to come and pack those things. So when I now moving to the house with him, we started living. You know, there's no how a man and a woman will be in the same house. You understand? Of which there is some kind of relationship between them, which they will not have anything to do together. You understand? Intimacy. That was what happened. And I took in for this guy. Okay, so you people started living in the same yes, house? Yes, in the same house. 
and I took it for him. When I got pregnant, of which I did not even know what to do, because already this guy, not that I have strong feelings for him, I have not developed that feeling. This thing I'm talking about is like, let me say, within the space of two months that we met each other, I took it for him. Sharp, sharp. Yes, when I took it for him, you know, because my fear that period was like, I don't want this guy to chase me out of this place again. That was why everything happened like that. You allowed him to be. Yes. So I now took him. When I got pregnant, I told him, oh, see what happened. He said, uh, he did not deny it. He said, okay, since it's like that, oh, say, Ingo, go see my people to pay my bride price. I said, no problem. But deep inside me, my mind did not really accept him. Because everything he used to tell me that time, he was not open. He was not open. He was not truthful. Like, I said, well, maybe as time goes on, he will change. Maybe because we are just friends, that was why it's like this. Uh, maybe as time goes on, he will change and be open to me and be telling me everything, uh, uh, nothing but the truth about this relationship or about his family. Okay, when I now took him to my village, we did everything for traditional. He paid my bride, we came back. We started living together. I now discovered that this guy is into betting. He's into all this, uh, what is it called? Um, all this um, Babi Jebu thing. Ah, I said, God, I did not pray for this kind of man. No, that was how everything started. Then along the line, after um, after some months, I gave birth. I was throughout that my pregnancy, I was going to work because my kind of person, I'm a hardworking girl. I don't depend on any man. I'm a hardworking person. I don't depend on anybody, even my parents. I have been going to work even without pregnancy. Even where I was even going to is when I moved into his side and where I was working, where I was teaching, is a bit far to each other. Oh, you still continue. But I still continue going to work that period. I will go to work and I will sometimes I will even trek. So even that all those trekking and everything really helped me when I put to bed. I did not have any issues. When I now put to bed. I planned, I said, okay, maybe after three months that a woman will stay in the house, then start going out or going back to work. I will go back to work with my baby. I'll be putting him in daycare because he's a boy. I'll put him in daycare. Okay, when I now told him that I want to go back to work, even that period of three months where I was working, they used to give me um, little, little money. They used to send me little, little money. And you are not working there? I was not working. That is a, when, a, when a woman put to bed, at least that three months I used to stay at home, they were giving me small, small money. Okay. Okay. When after that three months, I wanted to go back to work, he said no. That I should leave that work. I should resign totally. I said, uh -uh, why will I resign? I'm not the type of person that stays I do. I have ne I never do that for my life. I know the kind of family where I come from. I know my family background is B. Nobody go help you. Nobody they give you. You have to... Just work for yourself. Now, wait till I tell him, I cannot stay I do. Do you have any other thing to offer me, to do for me? He said, eh, we'll see what we can do about that. That I should just stay, I should just leave the work. That you will find something else for me to be doing. His reason? He said, because his son, that he will not want me to carry his child to be going up and down. That I'm going to work. Uh, son will beat him and all that. That I should just stay at home and be taking care of the house. I should be taking care of the child. I didn't mean I knew that. I wouldn't have answered this man. Because that was where my problem started. I, st I did not answer him at first. But he now, he now invited my mother to come and talk to me. My mother came and she persuaded me. She talked to me as a mother. I said, well, there's no problem. Since you yourself, you have seen it, that he's the one that asked me to leave my job. I left that job. When I left that job, he was not giving me anything. Months we end like this. He will not say, take, do your hair or do this or even go and buy foodstuffs in the house nothing but he was working he's working in a good place just i don't want to mention where he's working if i mention you know he's working in a good place and it's any good salary what is his company name now he doesn't so you can mention the company 
no, I don't want to mention the company's name. Okay. Let me just leave that one aside because I believe if I say it, it's a, it's a very big company. They have so many benefits. They have hospital that they are using. So you can mention it does not mean. Okay, you are well, telling us something, so you have to be straight. Okay, about let me just be open for everything that I'm saying here okay. because I really want people to tell me what to do. I really need an advice. I really need people to come to my rescue to just help me because I'm going insane already in this kind of relationship, in this kind of marriage. Okay, uh, his place of work is Sheraton. That is where he works. It's a very big company. We are by paying them good money. Yes, he's a staff. He's not a contract staff. He's a staff. A full staff. A full staff, even a supervisor. Yeah. So he's earning, a, he's earning big money there. But when you see me as his wife, you will, ne you will not want to collect anything from me. Because I was looking tattered. I'm even looking like this. It's because of I took that bold step. Okay. When a month ends, there's nothing like... Take oh, do this so oh, for upkeep oh, your pocket money. Oh. If I want to buy anything, if I want to buy Maggie, if I want to buy pad, if I want to buy anything in the house, I have to be waiting for this man to come back. I don't have any food stops in the house. If you want to cook, I, they, that's why we'll be waiting for him to come back or for him to send money before I'll go and buy if it is rice, if it is beans or gare. In fact, I'm not used to that kind of life. I didn't come from a wealthy background. I did come from a wealthy family, but my father really took good care of us. Yes, he really took good care of us. Though my father is late now. So, when, um, when I stopped working that period, this man did not have time for me. If you see the way we are living, it is fight every day. Any small thing I do like this, it is quarrel. Fight, fight all the time. And mo the most annoying part of it that frustrates me more is that this man used all my secrets to insult me at every time. Every given time we are having issues like this, he will use my past to insult me. Nothing that he has not called me, that I'm a problem to him, that I'm the one making him not to save, that I'm a liability. Imagine when a man is calling a woman a liability, that I'm a liability to him, that I'm the one making him not to have savings. That I'm the one making him not to have money. What am I collecting from you? What are you buying for me? If you check my, not, no, no, except, aside from the cloth that we used to do traditional marriage, not, no tangible cloth that you see in my wardrobe. And I am married to this man. No tangible thing that you see with me. I don't do my hair. I don't do my hair. I don't wear good clothes. And I'm a married woman. I have, I have always been in the house. Sometimes I will cook no meat, no fish. I will be there. I'm still managing with him. Okay, you know, got to a point, I called him. I said, I can no longer stay like this. I just want to do something. Because I'm not used to this kind of life. Staying I do. Waiting for somebody to come and give me before I'll be able to do something. This thing is really, really paining me. My mother, I could no longer do anything for her again. My father is late. I am the first daughter in my house. Nobody is doing it for her anymore. So I really need to be doing something. I, that was what I told him. He said I should not worry. That we are he's going to look for something that we'll be doing. This and that. Till I took in for my, uh, my second child. Two other pregnancy. Two other pregnancy. I saw hell. Sometimes I will not eat from morning till evening. That he will come back from work. As a pregnant woman, it's my neighbor that will go and be knocking at their door if they have, if they have Gary to give me, to, for me to eat because of the child that I'm carrying, my second child. I wanted to leave after giving birth to that my firstborn, but sometimes when I look at him, I will say, I don't want to leave this baby. He's not the one that offended me. Then I will stay back till I took it for my second child. When I gave birth to my second child, I could no longer bear it. I said, no, I can no longer sit down like this, waiting for man to do for me before I'll be able to do something for myself. As a woman, not even Nigeria of nowadays, that I'll be waiting for man to give me before I do something in the house. After how many, after six months that, my, that I gave birth, 
I told him, I said, please, now that I've put to bed, this is six months now. I cannot continue sitting I do. Okay, do, could you believe that he collected the shop right in front of my if, uh, in front of our house? This is our gate. See the shop. Okay, now bring money. Let us buy something and put inside the shop. This man did not bring the money. He refused totally, and he was paying for that shop every year. That shop spent two years without putting anything inside that shop. Like serious. I'm telling you, nothing but the truth. They just collected that shop. That, uh, the landlady of that shop just gave it out because the woman was complaining that uh, how can you collect shop you do not do anything you are just locking up my shop doing nothing inside it and you are paying money for it he paid money for that shop for two good years and nothing has been sold inside there's nothing inside that shop you are just staying at home saying nothing do he has nothing money you know. to pay for that shop rent let me even years. shock you let me even say this because i don't know why men should I? I don't want to generalize it, but this man, I don't know why he just choose to treat me like this. Even if I make sure that I want to leave, he will tell you. If you know what he will tell me, that I should leave. I want to leave. That even if you want to go, you I should, should go. go. What is my use? What is why am I here? He doesn't value me for anything. Okay, when I now, um, when I now think, I think about it. I said I cannot continue like this. One day he came back from work. He said, There's this money that he's expecting from his office. A half a million. I said, ah, That's good though. So, what do you want me to do? He said, I should sign. I should do this. I stood in as a guarantor for, for him. Take it as loan. Yes, loan. Okay, loan. Yes. He collected that loan. Take it, I want to use that loan to restock that shop, to open business for me. After filling the form, doing everything, I gave him my passport, I signed, I filled the form, everything. I did it. After a week, they paid in that money, I did not know. I did not know that they have paid that money to my husband's account. To the extent of spending it, to, to you, that money reached 120000 he spent I will not like money. yes, I would not like to not that I use it to invest. He did not use it to buy property. He did not use it to do anything. What did he use it for? I did not know. And I've been complaining to there is this uh, his elder brother that I used to call. And I I I, I explained to him, I said, say this thing, this bad thing that your brother is doing. I don't know. Can you just talk to him to stop it? To stop it, he's not doing you any good. It's not fetching you any money. Imagine Babi Jebu, Pet Niger, all these things. That is what he's, he's doing. For you to collect 500k and you did not use it for anything. When I now asked him, he said, Is it my money? Am I the one that worked for it? And guess what? That money every month they are removing it from his salary. And you did not use that money for anything tangible. That money did not fetch you anything, and you wasted that money like that, and you are paying for it. Okay, that one aside, we quarrel and fought over that money. See, people were like, I should forget about it. When months end, you will not give me any money. You will not bring any to me. Tell me, Shabby, I said I'm paying back the loan. Imagine how is it my business? Eh? There was even his, his sister is into oil. They are the one that manufactures oil in their village. Okay, when I told him, I said, why not talk to your sister to be sending us like oil? Yeah, since they're the one manufacturing it. Red oil. Red oil, yeah. They're the one making it from their place. I said, okay, if you can tell your sister, maybe after selling, we'll send them money. Then they will send, we can do that business. They're into farming big time. Even yam. I said, if you can do it, if you can, it's a very legit business that we can go into. To support this your job. So that at least, myself, I will be taking care of myself through that. After saying all of those things, is nothing. That one just gone like that. I even told the sister, I said, if I, let me tell you, the house we are living is two bedroom flat. When I checked his salary, just, I don't know, according to what he told me. I said this your salary would not be enough to be paying for this house rent. It is, is it not better if we look for a smaller place? A room is better. A room bedroom, uh, a room bedroom, uh, what they call it? A room one apartment. bedroom flat yes. is better. 
for us to go and get. As a, as a family that's just coming up, this two bedroom is too much. How much is your salary? Do me, I don't know. But he will say no, if this and that, oh, eh, this place is, is comfortable for him, oh. it's okay, it's that, it's this, is that. I said, well, no problem. But he's regretting it now. Telling me that everybody should just leave. Everybody should leave, that he can no longer afford this rent. But I was telling you from the beginning, my, my, what I'm telling you is nothing. You see how Nigeria is now. Okay, when I look at everything that is happening between us, from day one, I have never enjoyed this marriage. See, I've never enjoyed this marriage. My baby clock one year plus. I said, no, I can no longer bear it. And I'll pack. If I tell you, let me even tell you this. When, um, my, my, when my baby clock one year, I developed BP because of thinking. Depression entered me. I, my, my BP was high to the extent that the doctor was like, you're small, you are, you are still a small girl. What are you thinking? What is wrong with you? They have to pack drugs for me to be taken. This man knows about it and he has never done anything. He has never done anything to even say, okay, what can I do to be making my wife happy? Nothing. He will every morning will just bath, go to his work, do come back, everything. He will come even before he come back from work. He has eaten, you know, because in their office they used to give them food, anything they want to eat, anything, wine, no, yeah, you got me anything. But I will be in the house. Fish, I don't need to cook food. Help. He will go. He will come back from work. He don't care if we have eaten. He's okay. He's satisfied from his work. He will just come back and sleep. Except the time he wants to sleep with me, that's why he will know that I exist. We have, we, if I tell you that we don't have any family picture in our house, we don't have any couple's picture in our house, we don't have anything, we don't do things together. We have never laughed to each other like this. I don't know the kind of marriage it is. We have never laughed like this as husband and wife. It's quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. Fight, fight, fight. If I show you some wound in my body that this man has given me, out of worry, fighting, any smutting, you will flare up. So this thing, is, I'm so tired. When I developed this BP, like, people were like, uh -uh, is it by force? Why not leave this relationship? Why will I say, why will I leave my marriage? Why will I leave my children? Because if I leave, where will I go? I am not working. Radio now became my best friend that time. I started listening to radio. Something got so good. This there is this woman that was anchoring one program on radio. That day, she now said something that if you are a woman and your husband or whoever asks you to stop your work all in the name of marriage or taking care of the family, and you answer that you are digging your grave gradually. Which is happening to me. Everybody knows what BP is all about. Everybody knows what BP is all about. Anything can happen. But I thank God for my life. This woman said this thing really touched me. The following day I said, no, I can no longer bear it. I stood up, I looked for my CVs everywhere. I did, the, I photocopy everything. I, when he came back, I told him, I gave it to him, I said, please. Anywhere you see work, or even your place of work, if it is cleaner, just help me to submit it. Even if it's cleaner. Yes. Even if it is cleaner in your place of work, please. Help me so that myself I'll be doing something. Shop, she be shop is there. He did not do anything about the shop. Shop is just there. What can I do in that shop? Nothing. Okay, I gave him those CVs, but he did not collect it. Okay, you told him to help you and yes. submit the CVs. Yes, he said he, no. He said he, he did not collect it. He will tell me to keep it. Just put it there. Where you are going, you will not, you will not take it along. Is it not when somebody wants to help you? Anywhere he's going, he will take the CV and go. And submit it anywhere he sees. Vacants or anything. But he will not take it. I will see bid want to come and pack my things and keep them. He was doing all this. I said, no, this man cannot help my car. He cannot help my matter. He cannot help my life. That was how I started submitting that CV by myself. God so good that this brother in my in my church, 
I spoke to him. I said, please, I need work. Anywhere you see work. This is my CV. I started giving people my CV to start looking for work. People outside there, outside there was the one that was helping me to look for a job. And I have husband in the house. Those people, they were helping me. And I got a job in one loan office like that. That loan office, we, you know, we have to be calling people to bring people that collected loan. We have to be calling them to be bringing their money, to return their money back. You understand? To come and pay their money. This, 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 that's the kind of job it is. So I secured that job. I, I started working there. But when I started working there, this man will not let me rest. Your he, husband? Yes. He will not let me rest. He can call me, especially any day that I do not go to work. But you will not see him in the house, so you will not see him. You will not see him in the house. Is it that you see him that place where they are doing that betting? No. And he will still be there, be calling me. That uh, you see the children that you left in the house, and they are this. My brother is staying with me. He is the one taking care of my children when I started that job. He will call me that, and you see the person that you left my children with, you see that he's not taking care of them, this and this. I said, how do you want me to do it? He can call me throughout. See, those people, the people that owns that company now got to know. They say, what kind of thing? That I can no longer work with them. Since it's like this, that I can no longer work with them, that I should leave the job. Jesus. That was how I lost that job. You lost the job because of his call? That was how I love because this man would not allow me to concentrate. Hey. People that are supposed to call you could have off your phone. There's now. no how I can off it. Because I will use my phone to call those people. Okay, that you, are making you payments. Use your phone yes, in the everything we are doing is with phone. That we are we are using phone to make that call to call people to come and refund to come and repay their money. It's my there's no how I can off it. And even if I say let me block him, I cannot block him. If I even block him, when I get home, he will still question me on that so they they go to know that this is what is happening they said please madam you have to go and face what is going on in your house okay. that i can no longer work with them that was how i lost that job totally i started sitting there at home again okay i did not stop there not that i did not make effort to go and look for work i started look, looking for another job on my own started telling people that i'm looking for work got so good i found another one that one is not even far from my area at all i saw that job this one too is, a, is even a microfinance it's a microfinance um office whereby people come to collect loan okay i will have to be the one to register them prepare them for the money they want to collect that is the job it's, it's very easy very simple i went for the interview they accepted me okay the following day that i was supposed to start that job me and my husband we went out to go and buy something on our way going because it's my area where the office is is my area we now saw the manager of that office we saw him where they are when they closed from work as we as they were coming out from the office we now saw them and now said okay he said so that it's not be as if I did not tell my husband that I've secured another job, that I've seen another job. So let me, Kukuma, introduce him to this manager for him to know where I want to work. Oh, I've not done anything bad. Okay, and I now took him to that manager. I said, see my husband, see the manager that I want to start work, working with. You know what he said to this manager? He said that, he told him that uh, my wife did not need a job. That my wife did not need work, that they should not accept me. Uh -uh. I said, what is going on? I could not talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to say anything because I don't want that manager to know what is going on, what is happening. So that manager now said, uh -uh. but she came for an interview. Since she did, she did not need work, why did she come for an interview? Well, that man said, no problem. They will look for another person. That was how I lost that job. You did not go for that job again? I did not go for that job. Jesus. Oh, I did not go, I did not start, I did not do that job again. They asked me not to come. Since your husband said you are not looking for work, that was how I started stay, staying at home again. This man did not care anything about me. If I'm living or if I'm happy, if I'm dying, this man did not even care. This BP that I'm not seeing in my body he did not even care anything about it. He did not value me for once. My mother came around because of this same thing that is happening. 
Because of this BP issue, my, imagine my mother did not have BP. My mother did not have BP. But me, at my age, I'm, I'm not seeing BP. I'm taking BP drugs out of depression. My mother came around. When she, I was even on bed because I was sick that time. My mother now came. Imagine this man came back from work that day. What he said to me really shocked me. In front of my mother, he said, eh, what is happening to me? As he got into the point that I could not stand up and cook for, for family, for, for the house. This is what he have to tell you. Yes. Somebody that is not feeling fine. That what is happening to me, as he got into the extent that I could, not, I could not cook in the house again, in front of my mother. Just that my mother is this kind of person that does not want trouble. Hell. She knows they like problem at all. She did not say anything. To God be the glory, I said I will overcome and nothing will happen to me. One day, this like I used to do, radio is my friend. Any small thing, anywhere I am, I'm listening to radio just for me not to think. Okay, and now I was now listening to a program. I, she, we, like I, I met one of my friends. We are she's into this work. This um, what is it called? I've forgotten the job. And I told her, I said, please, I'm looking for work. Please, if you can help me. She said, okay, no problem. When I when she now took me to that office. They employed me, not if not minding my qualification, because I will not lie, I am not a graduate, but I am very intelligent. I'm very intelligent. There's no work you give me that will not be able to do it and deliver very well. Okay, this my friend now took me to their office. They employed me. When they employed me, I started. I, I just thank God for this for this uh, guy because he's a guy. Okay. Yes. I thank God for this guy that helped me with this job that I'm doing, which I'm, which I'm using to help myself, which I'm using to take care of myself. If I want to buy anything for my children, I'll be able to buy it now that I am. Now that I am. But this man has been frustrating me ever since I started this job. I don't sleep at night. Sometimes when you come that you want to touch me, that you want to you want to do. Even when even when I'm not in the mood, I must make sure. Or else this man will not allow me to sleep. And even doctor, they said they told me that I have to be sleeping well. I have to be sleeping well that I need it. But this man will not allow me to sleep. And this man can talk. He can argue with you. This man will sit down and be argue with a woman, argue with you to the point that you that is a woman will even leave the argument for him. Oh, that oh. even in the middle of the night, he will not allow me to sleep. I said I did not sleep yesterday night. He said if I want to leave, I should leave his house. That he will even tell our landlord that he's not going to pay for the house rent again. Because of me, that anywhere I want to go, that I should go. But I have all that, I don't want to separate my children from their father. I don't just know what to do. Another thing that is bothering me now is that when I met this guy, the kind of love that he has shown me. This one that helped you to get yes, your job now. Yes. This guy that really helped me because I would just say he's God sent to me. Of recent, now as I am, I am not taking anything BP again. Any BP drugs, I am not taking it because I have to pack everything last week and throw everything away. All those drugs. At least you are better now. I am better. Since I started that job, I am very much okay. This guy has really, sometimes he will call me that, where am I after work? He will take me out. Sometimes he will buy something like this come to come and give me in the office. Though I did not tell him that, I, though I told him everything. That I have children. See what happened to me. But I did not tell him that. I'm still living with that man. Wait though. So this guy now did not know that you are still living with your he, husband. I did not tell him. Because okay, he, he thought you are no longer living with your husband. Yes. Because I did not tell him that I'm living with him. I all out I told him everything though. Okay. But aside from 
So I told him, I said, it's bride price. I don't return after that. You told the guy? Yes. You have, the, your family have returned the bride price? Yes. But still, the bride but, price is still with you. Yes, I'm still living with him. Why now? It's me. You don't, Why you did don't, you lie to the guy? You don't have to blame me. Because I am scared. I don't want to lose this guy. He's just my, my everything. Fine, I'm in a husband's house. I'm in a man's house. A man that... If I, I will even say that most times when I look at this man, I don't see him as my husband. One spirit kept telling me, kept on telling me that this man is not your husband. I don't know. I don't see him as my husband. I just see him as father of my children. Do you, I don't know if you, are, if you understand me. Mm. That was why when this man came into my life, it's as if he just came to wipe away my tears. First, he secured that job for me that I am doing. Even sometimes, self, this my so-called husband will come and tell, be telling me to borrow him money. I'm telling from you. From where? From where? Money from where? He'll be telling me to borrow him money. And you will borrow him? What do I, what do? I, do? I have like any serious, choice. you borrow him money? I will borrow him. What? I no, I did he use your brain? He did not use my brain, no. He did not use my brain. You will I, still use this money, your hard earned money, and borrow what, him. Yes. To go and do another, yes. another baby jabuna. I don't know what he's using. So why doing the money? I, I just come. Maybe sometimes, you know, if we know, if we don't have anything in the house, if I come that there is no food in the house, so he will tell me, uh, go and cook it, I will return it to you. You know, like that, like that. He will not return it. He will not give me back. But I will just see it like, Shebi is my house that I'm using it to cook for. So there's no problem. But my money that has been with him, I cannot count it. If not for this person, if not for this man, this guy that came, and he, this guy is not married yet. This guy that came into my life. He's a single guy. He's a single guy. This guy, he came into my life. The first thing he did is to look for a job for me. He looked for that job and they're paying me well. I would not say it's because of what he's looking for. What is he looking for that he has not seen? But I just feel that this, this guy really likes me. That's why he's doing all of this. I even told you that I have children, no. See my situation, no. Fine, I was once married because that was what I told him. I was once married, but I'm no more with the man. I did not tell him that truth, that we are still living together. That is why I'm trying all my possible best. I want to leave that house. I want to rent another house. I want to stay, I want to be living on my own. I just want people to advise me on what to do. So if you leave that man's house now, eh? How are you go? How are you planning it? Uh, the thing is that I have this money that I'm, I'm expecting okay. in my place of work. I I just pray if they if they offer me that money, I will use that money to go and rent another, even if it is one room. For me, for, for me to just be happy and have rest of mind. Because anytime I'm going home. I don't, I don't have this joy in me that I'm going home. Because I will still go and meet this man, this same man in the house. He even, fine, he, he has even got to know that I have someone that I'm going out with. He's aware? Yes, and I'm not even feeling, I don't know, I'm not even feeling remorseful. Do, are you having something with this man? I'm dating him. You are dating this man? Yes. Already. We are dating already, I will not lie. That's why I came. I, that's why I said, you let me still sleep with your husband as you're dating this guy now. He sleeps with me, your husband. Yeah, though, I, I wanted to stop sleeping with him. I, I've, I have stopped him from touching me. I have stopped, I've told him, I don't want to have anything to do. The only thing that I'm owing you is your bride price. And I'm waiting for me to leave this house before I will return it to you. Yes, I cannot be in that house and, see, and say that I want to return the bride price and I'm still in that house. It's not possible. That's why I ought to have returned it to him since. But it's because I'm still in that house. Where and is your mom? Because she's, she's, fine. she's, my mom is still alive. She's okay. Like, where is she? Is she living with two people in that, that house? or? No, or? she's not living with us in the house. She's in Ogu State. Okay. She's in Ogu State. Where Where's your she's... husband from? My husband is from Cross River. I... I'm not even happy calling him my husband because... Uh, you because... are from where? Yeah, I'm from Enugu State. Okay, so you are from Enugu, you married a cross river state. Yes. Okay. I don't know, I, ju I just blame myself for everything. No sin, no love. No love between me and this man. That since the day, the marriage, the marriage is now six years. But that six years has been hell for me. 
It has been hell. I have never enjoyed anything called marriage. I have never enjoyed anything in that marriage. He's not taking care of his children. Like, if he's that one, he's taking care of them. He's paying their school fees. He's paying their school fees. That is it. But when it comes to anything that concerns me, it's none of his business. He's like, how old is the man? The man is, let me say, 40. 40 years? Yes. No, let me say, yes, 40 years. For like, I don't just know what to do. I've, I've even I, there was a time I went to church because of him. I went to church for pastors to pray for me, for him on uh, to, for them to pray for me on his behalf. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still the same thing. Why will you? I don't know. Why will you involve in this kind of act like playing by best Niger? Well, how how do you feel staying in such marriage for a good six years? It's because I'm but not financially okay. I will just put it that way. Because but since then, I used to that financially okay. You, you are not financially okay. You are not doing anything to have that money. You are still in there upon all the signs. You are taking BP drugs and this man is not even... It doesn't even consign him. You don't know that anything can happen to you at any time. Yes, I know. I know that. And that's why I tried my possible best for me to live there. I just that, I thank God for this work that I'm doing. This work has been helping me so many in so many ways. This work, if not for this work that I'm doing, I don't know how my life would look at me. I am not like if I show you my picture before you will, in fact you will say I'm not the one. Looking tattered. But if look at me now. Because I am working, I am doing something. That is why it's always good. As a woman, don't depend on any man. It's just an advice I'm giving to young girls out there. My fellow married women, I don't know, should I call it uh, uh, because I'm not, I'm not seeing myself as a married woman. Yes. He himself is doing things as a bachelor, like a single guy. We don't do anything together as couples. Birthday we come, we don't know that one. Anniversary, we don't even know that one. Have you, as in, did you people, have you, wed, have you wedded you? No, okay, there's nothing like wedding, yes. Marriage. And even when we came back, I told him that we should go and do court marriage. Okay. I kept on, I kept on saying, I, I did talk and every time. We should go and do court marriage. But this man kept on postponing and postponing till today. Okay, so what exactly do you want my audience to do please. for you now? Yes, thank How you. How do you want to handle this situation? Yes, please. I don't know what to do. Though he has found out that I have someone that I'm going out with. Though that one is none of my business. I don't care. Because I've already made up my mind. I know what I'm doing might not be right, but I'm the one that knows the joy I derive in it. So please, I just want your audience to advise me on what to do in this whole matter that I have said so far. I just need an advice on what to do. If you are to be in my shoe, what will you do? Is it to leave? Because if I even leave the house now with the children, there's no how he will not be coming to look for his children, to be checking on his children. So I don't want to deprive him of that aspect. Okay, from seeing his children. From seeing his children. Definitely we still know where I'm staying. So that one aside, I don't know what I can do concerning that aspect. And again, my children too, they are, they are somehow close to him. So there is nothing he can... Though they are not learning anything from him. I must tell you the truth. And that should they save, eh? Hmm. They are not learning anything. I don't want anything that is happen happening between us to affect the children. I don't want them to because I just I just need to take my children away from me, where he is. Because everything, the way we fight, the way we quarrel is in front of those children. So I don't know what we are planting in those children's memory. I don't know what we are planting in their life. That is why I'm, I'm just trying my possible for me to, to take them away from that house. If I am on my own, I know what I can do for my children as a mother. I know what I can do. My children will come back, he cannot do their own work for them. Yes, he has insulted me in so many ways as the amiability. I did not go to school. He has used my past to insult me. So what else should I, what else am I doing with a man like that? For they might say, okay, it's a normal thing for, but what he has planted inside my heart, the wood he has put in inside my heart, is what I'm nursing to today. But I thank God for my life. I thank God for the person that God has sent to me. So please, 
this whole thing that I've tabled down now, I just want your audience to advise me. I just want them to to give me an, an advice on what to do, on how to go about this. Because I've even been thinking, should I go to human rights? I don't know if I should go to human rights or I'll be what they call, is it welfare or human rights? Let me just put it that way. Maybe if they can call him to sit him down and ask him how he can be taking care of his, of his children and give him that order not to, be, not to disturb my life. Because he himself used to say that if I want to live, I should live. Of what, of, of what, of what use am I to him? Of which I'm, I am his problem. I'm a liability to him. So I just want to take my life and leave that house. Now, so in, before anything happened to me, because many are times that he has hit my head on the ground, on the wall, yes. So I just, I just don't know what to do. I am God that just saved you in that marriage, you. <laughs> and you are still dope on everything. Oh this is the opportunity. If you miss this one, Omo, I know they support people, may they leave their marriage, but this one don't pass. Nah, water don't pass, Gary. Yes, your life anybody, is more important. Anybody. So you can continue with your work. Nothing will stop you from working again. That is it. Even that is even my there. concern. Other, like, your children should be in, in a good place, not that kind of environment. Why I asked it's you about your mother is that if your mother is okay, you can shift your children to your mom. Be sending money to your to your mom is that i don't want to take my children to where my mother is living why because i know that place won't be conducive enough for them okay why not when you rent this house now why not your mom come over stay with you so somebody will be taking care of your children also that is what i'm saying i want to rent that apartment by god's grace i'm just praying god should help me i want to leave that house if that house is hell for me it's frustrating me for six um six years in marriage yes it has been hell for me. <sighs> okay, guys, you people have heard her story. Omoye is noisy. I did talk and say this kind of marriage, as in, hey, God, what kind of thing are we seeing in this life now? Is this one marriage? Why is it that people have sold their conscience? What if this lady, this woman you are treating like this is your blood sister or even your daughter? How will you feel? Many men are like this. They treat women anyhow. But there's even something I forgot to say. His sister, his sister's son is living with us. Why they wanted to bring that, that boy? I told him, I said, you know we are not financially okay yet. I am not doing anything yet. Why not hold on? Let this boy, this boy should just hold on. When I am doing something, I need to support the house. You can bring him. But before you know it, I did not know when they brought this boy to Lagos to come and be living with us. So guys, please drop your opinion on the comment section. Advise her. Thanks for watching this video and also share this video.